Okay, today we're gonna do something fun. Uh, we're gonna play with cabbage. It's gonna be an Asian cabbage salad. Okay, so uh, in the way that I would say uh, the kale and the Napa cabbage are similar is that we're only gonna use, you know, the leafy uh, portion of this. So we're gonna cut out the stems. We're gonna wash it very well. We're gonna cut out these uh, stems. Uh, for this also, we're gonna cut this part out. So basically, uh, first is first, I just take this, uh, just take these off. I'm gonna wash them really well, leaf by leaf, because sometimes there's uh, different bugs that can be found inside. Um, a lot of the time for uh, these type of vegetables, you can soak it in like a solution of uh, baking soda, leave it in there. Some people use vinegar. Uh, some salt, so whatever is found inside can come to the, you know, to the top. Then you rinse it off and uh, feel a little bit <laughs> safer. Okay, so this is what I'm keeping. These parts. This is what I'm tossing to the side. Okay, this should be enough. Uh, so as you see, I have only the soft parts. Actually, I like Napa cabbage. It's nice and soft. Um, these are my stems. This is going to go to the garbage. Okay, the same goes for the kale. Get the leaves. Leave the stem. Just run your knife across over here. Separate it. And make two piles. Um, I just wanted to stress the importance of washing the greens well, specifically uh, like kale or broccoli. I'll do it for the Napa cabbage as well. So I prepared a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to dilute it uh, with water, hot water. Okay, so I'm going to dilute it. Um, I already put water to soak these items. Um, it's cold water, so the hot is not going to like, cook anything. Okay, and I'm gonna just let it stand and then we'll see. We'll see if anything comes up and I'll, I'll show you. Um, in the meantime, while this is soaking, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get to the other vegetables. Um, the carrots and the, and the cabbages are pretty usual. We work with them often. Uh, I'll show you how I do them. Um, I peeled and washed gazlutin carrots. <laughs> I'm not all going to use it for the salad, um, definitely not going to use all this kale for the salad, but I figured uh, I'll use it to make uh, other things that I'm planning for today. Uh, and that's kind of what I wanted to say about, uh, you know, fast food is, is easy and that's why it's called fast, but uh, healthy eating, uh, it's more about planning. You're more likely to, you know, what are you going to wash all of this stuff again, soak it again, peel it, you know, it's going to take more time. You're not going to want to do it. So if it's in the fridge ready for you, you're more likely uh, to grab this versus something else. Okay. Okay. With these two, I also wash them and take uh, the hard parts out. <laughs> Okay, so now we're cooking our pasta. Uh, this is the one that I like best uh, from the gluten-free ones uh, because it cooks uh, normally. A lot of gluten-free pastas kind of uh, mash into a mush. Uh, so while that's happening here, we're gonna come in to this side and massage our kale. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some oil over the kale. This is before we combine everything together. And the reason I do this is because uh, kale is um, is a very, it, it's more rough than the other uh, greens. So it's, it's hard to chew it, or especially if you're putting it in a salad, everything else is, is nicely coming together. But this one, it's not very uh, good on the tooth, like it doesn't feel good. So by massaging it, it makes it softer, and if we do it ahead of time, um it's it just it just comes out much much better it looks nice it looks very juicy now and uh 
soft, much softer than it was before. So this is more presentable. Um, this is how I, <clears throat> this is about the size that I made the Napa cabbage. Uh, these are our carrots. I'm not gonna use all of this, gonna use a little bit of the red cabbage. And this is the regular white cabbage. So basically right now we're waiting for our pasta and we're gonna put everything together. Okay, here we go, final steps. So we put the kale in, the oiled kale. We're gonna come and put the cabbage. You have to love these colors. I mean, the greens, the orange, the purples. And the taste is amazing. Don't forget the lemon juice. It really, really, really adds to the flavor. Um, I think even at one point we used some um, pan roasted pine nuts. That's always great with kale. And then I'm gonna just drizzle with olive oil, some salt, and some lemon. You can dress it up how you like it. Okay, mix all that up and enjoy.